All right. So, um, uh, I actually I forgot if I ever put, I, I did, but okay. This is going to be the updated version of my brainstorm build for Zillan Skyma deck. I, I, I'm pretty sure I put up one before, but um, I have changed it from a brainstorm power build to a brainstorm zombie build, which is quite fun to play. But uh, any mistake will probably cost you the game. It's it's harder to play, and it's a lot of fun. So uh, I just want uh, this is also as a documentation of my build before I change it back because I want to do some more testing with the original build. Anyways, let's start. I run four copies of this, and you guys can probably hear that I'm probably I'm pretty much sick. Uh, give me a sec, actually. I think I want to adjust the camera, just so it doesn't... Just, just realize I can probably just do one layer this from now on. Alright. That's pretty good, I think. Anyways, so I run four copies <coughs> of this. Kirke. Uh, Love Hunter Kirk, uh, Kirk uh, because this card when it comes to play you check the top deck and you can decide to mill it or keep it and what this does is if it's not unlike the blue ones which bottom decks your card this can keep your um, just mill straight up mill the card out so you don't let's say you want it you want to get closer to a hit on brainstorm and you put the deck to bottom deck which is not a climax and then you might hurt yourself like later on it might you know that will turn to damage, right? But this one, it makes that a non-issue because you just mill the card instead. Uh, for uh, of course, the level zero brainstorm lineup is two, four copies of um, Tifania in Bath, which when you bring tap one, pay one, bring, uh, tap bring brainstorm, pay one. Uh, for each climax hit, you take something out of your clock and then re and then replace a card from the top of your deck. Other ones I run in is the Strong Bond Louise, a uh, very powerful brainstorm. Uh, when you again pay one tap, brainstorm of four for each climax hit. You put any cost zero characters from your waiting room, right just on the field right away. Can be level ones, even at level zero. Four copies of the suicide cost zero suicider because this is really useful in this deck since you're gonna be low on stock from brainstorming a lot. This deck spans brainstorm. Like every turn, you brainstorm at least twice, maybe possibly more. Level one, I play two copies of the Tifania. This is uh, this has hand on core. It's pretty good because when you hit a brainstorm, she gains two K. Like for yeah, whenever you hit a when you hit a brain uh, when you hit a climax for each climax, it oh, actually no no just when you hit a brainstorm so if you hit like a brainstorm and hit like two climaxes it doesn't boost 4k it's just it gains 2k for if your brainstorm was successful so oh you hit oh 8k then you hit again with a second brainstorm 10k level 1 10k with hand on course so you want to keep her on the field this is also the only level 1 you had to pay for if i pull something out with the strong bond louise this is why i'm gonna be uh, getting out this is an on field counter 15. So like let's say you are the let's say this is the case, you know, like you have this on the field, these two, and then we front attacks her, send it away, pumps 15. It's a very useful card because you can still play a backup. Even though you know you play the on field backup ability. It's just a good free card. Cause um this is what this is what you want to be playing for your hand, because um comes in play, you check top. Decide to if you want to bottom deck it or keep it on top. So if you see a climax, you keep it, of course. D don't put the climax bottom unless you want to cancel. No, you know, like you, you want to make sure you have a cancel then. But usually you probably want to hit that brainstorm. Three copies of the love potion. Well, for if you hit the climax, you heal two, and this card is removed. So compression. I have to tell you, this is a must-have. You you have to you know just run this card. This card is so cool, and. Um, yeah, you just heal the damage. Why not, right? Uh, moving on to level 2. I play two copies of the Tifania and Shiesta. Uh, it's experience, so when you have two brainstorms in level zone, let's say, um, you know, you probably want, you want, probably want like these two in the brainstorm zone by level 2. And this is what happens, so she becomes a 9-5. 2-1-9-5! She's a beater. It's just uh, a beater that beats over things. For having brainstorms in your, you know, waiting in your level zone, it's pretty cool. 
the main show of level two is the uh the, the Louis, the the you know the out of you know, which you know, which is out of it. Anyways, unconscious power, I think that's what it's translated to translated to. Anyways, this Louise is um it's a change to level three. Or oh, when you will come and play when you have less than five cards in your deck, she will automatically you can salvage any I believe no trait no trait and skyma trait. So uh so you salvage let's say a Saito or uh technically you, want to, you if you don't have the level three in your hand you want to salvage a level three and then and then pretty much what she does is you know like um you salvage it you shuffle your whole way back into your into your you know deck what's left of it you know less than five cards right you get the refresh for free and since you go through your deck really fast by brainstorming this is a very powerful card to play so now for pre precision brainstorm hitting this is a very strong event uh brainstorm for three okay when you play this you salvage a character and then brainstorm for three if you hit you salvage again so you salvage two in one turn like in one event if you hit the brainstorm so uh if you you know check top and you see oh hey i have a brainstorm on top hey you know i mean i have a climate on top why not use this card salvage two instantly go uh plus one from this because you play it from hand right so that's a well it's a, it's a one for one and then if you hit brainstorm it's a plus one this is for getting rid of annoying stuff like if something is you know being really annoying on the field that you that's probably screwing you over somehow this gets rid of it it's a, again this is a precision hitting thing if you know you will hit you use it if you don't know you're gonna hit i think the best idea is to not use it because this is a very powerful card why when you hit you send any enemy like any level any enemy character no i believe the front row only uh, no, actually, any character from anywhere just top deck it. So it'll be uh, again, it'll translate into a guarantee damage for you as well. So, uh, this spell, this Peru Hatsudo, uh, it's a counter. I, to be honest, I don't think I need a counter because I mean, my field is supposed to be really small and just dies, but why not? I guess, you know, very good card. I can, um, it, you know, just it's a counter. It's a three five counter. When you brainstorm hit, when you hit, you gain. Uh, it, it's like a it, it, when you hit, you get. It goes to stock, so it's a free counter. But what's amazing about this is it goes so well with this level one. Why? Hey, my opponent's attacking into a six k. You are brainstorming. You're countering for three three point five k. This is a three point five k counter. You you hit you hit back for three point five k. Right? What's gonna What's gonna happen next is? Oh hey, three point five k. Uh, if you hit plus 2k again so it's a three so it, it, it becomes instantly a uh, it will become 9.5k from this one plus 2k 11.5k level one with the counter when you you know hit with the range right uh, even if you don't hit it's a great counter because if you don't hit your opponent will you just milled out three non cancels it's just a it's just a card that's very very use, useful and usable in general uh, it's a good Good, pretty good event, I have to say. Level 3, I dumped the Tifana entirely. I only run 4 copies of the level 3 Louise. Uh, climax combos with one of the gates with World Door. Uh, just instantly plus 3k. Supposed to take a Saito back from the memory zone, but I don't run that Saito. Anyways, um, yeah, just a 13k beater. That beats over something for one turn, you know. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a, it's a change target for the level 2, right? So why not run her? Yeah, and of course, to make my deck even more stable, I mean, not more stable, like uh, to make sure that my hand advantage never run out, Formal Gate. Uh, comeback Trigger, it's not called Gate anymore. Anyways, that concludes my newest version of the Brainstorm deck. I, I'll i probably be changing it back into a, you know, the Experience deck, but I I have to tell you, I, I'm, I enjoy the Brainstorm deck a lot more than the Experience deck, just because it's a lot more challenging to play and I have to say more fun but yeah anyways yeah thanks for watching guys